Okay, in this um, tutorial or pre-lecture pre video, we're going to talk about how to draw Newman projections. Specifically, we're going to look at converting bond line structures to Newman projections. Um, and the first example we're going to do is this alcohol here. Uh, the first thing we should do is really try to name this compound. You can see we have one, two, three, four, five carbons, which is a pentane. Of course, there's an alcohol here. So that will make this a pentanol. We know that the alcohol has the highest priority in this molecule, so we want that to have the lowest number. So if um, we um, number our carbons here, we have carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, and carbon 5. Okay, so that makes this a 2-pentanol, and we have a functional group at 3. So the name of our compound will be 3-chloropentane-2-all. So here I have um, just embedded the 2 into the name of the compound. So let's bring up the numbers that we just included in here so we can make sure we're talking about the, the same bond that we're looking at. So looking at this molecule, what we see is we have a five carbon chain and this is in the plane of the board. Because these are just straight lines, that typical zigzag bond line conformation, that indicates carbon one, two, three, four, and five are all in the same plane and that is the plane of the screen. We see that we have dashes and wedges at carbon 2, dashes and wedges at carbon 3. That indicates that these groups are behind the screen and in front of the screen. And our dash, H, means the H is behind the screen. And our wedge, the OH, means that's coming towards us, coming out of the screen. At carbon 3, our chlorine is a dash. Again, that is behind the screen and our H is coming out towards us that is in front of the screen. And that's going to be important when we're drawing our Newman projections. So when we're drawing in a Newman projections, instead of this top view that we're looking at, kind of down on the molecule, what we're really going to do is view the molecule from the side. So you see I have a couple of um, uh, a couple of smiley faces here to indicate our view. So let's move those up, all right, indicating where we're looking. So I'm going to set this face, kind of looking at the side. We're, what we're going to be doing here is now looking down the bond between 2 and 3, all right, to 2 and 3. So if you can visualize yourself kind of in the side of the screen, looking directly down this bond between 2 and 3. All right, so what that means is carbon 3 is directly behind 2, and it's blocked our view. Now, how we signify this is we have kind of two different ways of viewing this, uh, these zigzag conformations. We can um, use this picture here to really talk about our Newman projections. So let's move this one out of the screen. So this is kind of the figure we use to describe our Newman projections. Okay, so right now here we're looking at this from the side. And one thing I want to point out is when we're looking at carbon 2 in the front, there are three things attached to carbon 2 that we can see. Carbon 1, an OH, and an H. Carbon 3 is behind it, and we can't see that. And that's signified by this dot here. This point is really signifying carbon 2. That's attached to carbon 1 and then two other groups coming to the side. 3 is behind it. 3 is attached to an H, a CL, and then carbons 4 and 5. So we actually can't see 3, but I can see the three things that are coming out behind it. Something in the top, to the left, and to the right. So that's what the Newman projection is. We're now viewing this in the plane going down towards the side. All right. So the first thing when you're looking at carbon 2, what's important is to recognize what is in the plane of the board that's attached to carbon 2. All right. What is in the plane of the screen? Well, 
Carbon-3 is in the plane, we can't see it, but it's also carbon-1. Carbon-1 is in the plane. So from our perspective, looking down carbons 2 and 3, carbon-1 is in the plane, plane of the screen, and it is below our eyesight. It is below our eyesight, and that's important because when we move to the Newman projection, what is now in the plane is viewed as being up and down. Okay, that's what's really being viewed as what is up and down here. So let's start to draw some of our, our numbers here. Okay, so if I draw carbon 2 is this dot in the center. What's in the plane of the board coming down is carbon 1. All right, that's what we really... Um, see here. So again, here's carbon 2 in the plane from this perspective is carbon 1 and that is pointing down. So things that are in the plane in this view are going up and down when we look at the, at the side view. Now looking at carbon 2, what else is attached to carbon 2? Again, carbon 3 behind it we can't see. Carbon 1 in front we can see which is down. I have an OH and an H. So from my side perspective what is on the right side and what is on the left? Well, the OH, the wedge, is coming towards us. So from this perspective, the OH is going up and towards the right. So what that means is that in our Newman projection, the OH is up and to the right. Conversely, the H is now on our left side from this perspective, and that's going up to the left. So when we look over here, our H is now up and to the left. So attached to carbon 2 is carbon 1, carbon 1, and OH, that's coming out of the board in this view. In this view, it's on our right. And in H, which in this view is going back, when we look at it from the side, it is now on our left. And again, carbon 3, which we can't see, that's blocked from carbon 2. So that's what we have going on in the front. Now, when we're looking at the back of carbon-3, what's attached to carbon-3? NH, a chlorine, and an ethyl group, two carbons. Again, notice what is in the plane of the board that's attached to 3. All right, 4 and 5 are attached here. So from our perspective, this is in the plane of the board above 3. And again, as we mentioned in the Newman rejection, in the plane in the board is up and down. So at the top here, 3 is behind and we can't see. At the top, we now have carbon 4. So what we need to do here is now draw in our ethyl group, and we will now number these carbons. Here is carbon 4, and there is carbon 5. All right. So what we're really doing is looking at the attachments, what's attached to carbon 2 in the front, what's attached to carbon 3 in the back. All right, taking a look at that, now what else is attached to carbon 3? All right, we've already talked about this ethyl group, okay, and that is circled here in the top. So what else is attached? Well, we have a hydrogen as a wedge. So from our perspective over here, that is on our right side and pointing down, attached to carbon 3. So to draw that on our Newman projection, we're going to have our H, okay, on the right side pointing down. And again, what we do is we use this line here that does that stops at the circle, telling me that this is going back to connecting to carbon three that I can't see. So this is how we do draw our Newman projections. All right. The other thing we have is a chlorine group. Okay, that is back in this perspective here, but when we're viewing it from the side, that means it's now going down and on the left, and it goes down on the left on the Newman projection, so our chlorine goes here. And again, we've already drawn in our ethyl group, because that was in the plane of the board, straight up and down. All right. So this is, in fact, 
our correct Newman projection for the first example. Okay, again looking at the carbons, here's carbon 1, the methyl, carbon 2 attached to the H up to the left, the OH up and to the right, carbon 3 is behind it, we can't see it, but I can see what is attached to 3, carbons 4 and 5 are ethyl, down and to the right is our hydrogen here, and down and to the left is our chlorine. So that is our first example of drawing a Newman projection. Okay, so now let's do another example. So we will delete that and scroll down, and here's our next example. And again, here are my faces, and I really have to tell you what bond we're going to be looking down. So in this example, I'm not going to name the compound. I'm just going to tell you what bond we're looking at. All right. So in this example, we are looking down the bond as indicated by my face and my eye. So I will just highlight this bond. We'll color it red. That is the bond that I'm really looking down. All right. So now we're looking from the right side through that bond. A couple things we should notice here is in this first carbon that we're actually viewing, I just have a wedge showing in OH. Well, of course, carbon has to have four bonds. Three are only shown. So what that means is well, there is another bond, and that bond is actually a hydrogen, right? Because we don't have to show hydrogens. Conversely, on the back side of this, right, we have a chlorine that is back, a dash, so that means that there's missing a bond, that bond is coming towards us, and that is actually also a hydrogen. So the first thing I really did here was to sh draw in all of the H's that weren't shown when we first did this. All right, so now those are shown so we can draw a Newman projection. Now if you remember we started with two Newman projections in the first example on the top Right? How do we know which one to use? Right? And here the carbon in the front is pointing down. Here the, carbon, here the carbon in the front is pointing down. This is rotated 100 degrees. The carbon in the front is pointing up. So what we really need to do is look at our first carbon. What is in the plane of the board at the first carbon we're looking down? And it's this ethyl group. And what direction is it pointing towards our eye? It's pointing above our eye. All right, so which one of these Newman projections here fit that? Remember, from this perspective, if it's in the plane of the board, it's up, and it's straight up and down. So what that means is we need to use this Newman projection to do our proper drawing. Okay, so this is the, this is the proper Newman projection we have to look at. So looking at my eye here, I'm looking down the bond in red. I see this ethyl group coming up. Okay, so let's add that in to our Newman projection. Okay, again, this is the front carbon I'm looking down. Attached to it is an ethyl group, and that ethyl group is shown here. So what I'm going to do is, in the plane above, I'm going to draw my ethyl group. Right, I have two carbons. There's one carbon here and another carbon there two carbons. Now as we continue to look down or kind of look up at this bond, from the side view, right, the OH is a wedge, so that means in this view it's coming towards me, but from the side view that OH is going to be on the left side pointing down. Where is that here? Here's that front carbon, the OH is pointing down and to the left. So in the front carbon we need to draw our OH down and to the left. All right. Obviously what that means is now the OH in this view is back, so it's on my right. So now I need to draw that hydrogen pointing down and to the right. So now looking at the back carbon, okay, so now we're going to look at this back carbon here. We know that's attached to carbon 2. Okay, I'm sorry, to the carbon we just looked at, what are the three different things that are attached? Well, we have a hydrogen, a chlorine, and a benzene ring. All right, a hydrogen and a chlorine and a benzene ring. 
I always like to start with what is in the plane of the board. Well, my benzene ring is in the plane of the board. And notice, look at my eye line. Where is it? In the plane of the board, it's below my eye line. So when I look over my numerator projection, what's in the plane is up and down, and of course it's below my eyesight, so it comes here. So let's add in our benzene ring, and what we simply do is draw that in, okay? We will go um, kind of back to our drawings, so it seems that we lost our first drawing, so let's go back and add those in, I apologize for that. Alright, let's put those back in, so we had our um, ethyl group here, and we had our OH on the left and our H on the right, okay? So we just added on our benzene ring, we still have our chlorine and we still have our H, so we now need to add those in. So looking back at our picture in the back carbon, there's our benzene ring, here's our benzene ring on the Newman projection. Now I have a hydrogen and a chlorine. The hydrogen is the wedge, so that's coming towards us in this view, but from the side view the hydrogen is on my left side going up, left side going up. So let's draw that hydrogen in, left side going up on the back carbon. And obviously what that means is my chlorine is um, now going back in this view, but when I look at this from the side, the chlorine is on my right side, so we add my chlorine here on the right side. Okay, so what's drawn in blue here represents uh, the hydrogen, the chlorine, and the benzene ring are on this back carbon, okay? And what is drawn in red, my OH, my H, and my ethyl are on that front carbon. So there's the front carbon, OH in red, H in red, and there's my ethyl. Alright, so that is the Newman projection for this example. Let's delete that, there we go. So let's just put a little box around this as our final answer. I want to point out a few things if you notice here, right? The OH is coming towards us, the H is coming towards us, so when we view this from the right side, these are both on the left side, which makes sense, right? These are both towards us here. When we view here, they're on the left side. So when you have a wedge and a wedge, they should be on the same side, in this case, the left side. The dashes here are on the right side in this view, so they should both be here. Okay, so this is how we draw our Newman projections. Hopefully this is pretty clear. What I want to do now is just give you um, the assignment to look at in class. There. So what I want you to do is draw the Newman projection for this molecule, and we are going to look down the bond shown here. Um, just to make sure you can see this, we'll zoom in. So you're going to draw your numeric projection looking down this bond shown right there. So this is kind of showing the bond, showing where we're, we're looking down the bond. And I will um, just highlight the bond for you again in red. So please draw the numeric projection for this molecule for your homework for Monday.